I gotta get those fucking birds. I fucking hate birds. So yeah, air purifier helped me sleep. But, I mean, I still have a shit futon that I sleep on. Shitty mattress. And, uh... That's probably what caused my pelvis injury. Probably why my pelvis exploded. Because I had said I did, like, I, I just woke up with this, with the pain that eventually got super bad. Also, I think I want to figure out how to get alternate costumes. For, for whenever, whenever I play this next. But uh, anyways, so I was, so I started sleeping on the good side. Because, I mean, like, there's the side you always sleep on, right? And then the good side that you never sleep on, so it's, like, perfectly preserved. Oh, that second swing seems to have a lot more reach. So, you know, I spun my mattress around so that the side I want to sleep on... Yeah, fuck birds. I ain't fighting birds. You guys can fuck off. So, uh, you know, that that's definitely improved. Because I remember the one night, I was like, Yeah, it's, like, it's kind of lumpy right here on my mattress. I wonder if that's causing the problem. And then I, like, reached my hand under. And I was like, yeah, that's it's not just lumpy here. That's just the bar. It's, it's flattened to the point where the metal bar is literally digging into my hip. So, yeah, that's gotta be why my pelvis is exploding. So, uh, so yeah, it, I figured it's fun around, so now I'm sleeping on the good side, and that, that's helped an awful lot. But, uh, I also wanted to, you know, just, just improve it. It needs, still needs improvement. It's still a shitty futon mattress at the end of the day. Still, still could use some work. So I bought this, uh this like memory foam map mattress topper because I didn't want to buy a new mattress or like buy a new bed because like I didn't want to throw this one out because you know it switches into a couch mode which is real handy if I want to have you know boys over and stuff watch a movie or whatever I don't have a lot of space so I didn't want to have to get a new bed and squeeze it in here and move shit around because who likes doing that fucking nobody and it would just it just would have been a real pain, so I didn't want to do that. So I bought this mattress topper. So I'm like, this this seems like a, the solution that I want, because it's uh it's just a thing that I buy and put on top. It's uh, no additional space required, no no throwing anything else, just just an upgrade. I should look at the map and figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go on this place. Uh, okay, just follow the one single path. To presumably that small room down there, but I really should stop by the goddess statue along the way, I think. And uh, so yeah, so I got that. It came in the mail because I ordered on Amazon, of course. Because who actually goes to stores to buy things anymore? And uh, it's heavier than I thought it would be. It comes with its own cover. So it's like, you know, you got your bare mattress, and then you put the foam in a cover, put that on top. And then you put the sheet over top of that. Oh, there's fence up at the doors there. So it's, you know, a double down, it's a doubling down on cases and, and sheets and stuff, but it's, it's fine, it's whatever. It was actually a, a moment ago I took a break just to take it out of the laundry. So I wanted to wash it before its first use. And, uh, but in the meantime I just have like the foam part, the memory foam, just sitting on my mattress. Didn't really have anywhere else to put it. That seemed the logical place. So it's just sitting on the mattress, and I'm just sitting on that. And like, man, is it really... Like, I tried laying on it a bit, and it felt, like, better than I deserve. Because, like, I'm so used to, like, sleeping on this shitty futon mattress. Or, like, on a... Or at, like, a friend's house, it'd be a couch or an air mattress, and that's not great. Or on trips, it's at a, a hotel, or a worn-out bed at a hotel. You know, just... I'm not the kind of person that experiences a, a lot of comfortable sleeps. So uh, when I laid on this memory foam and it just it just smooshed my body into it and I didn't feel pressure on anything and it was just like smooshy and weightlessness, it was just weird. Like I'm, it's going to take some getting used to. Oh no, the goddess statue is this way, and I'm getting real bloodied up. Excuse me, officer. I need to wipe my shit.
No, I don't I don't got time for you guys. I already killed you guys once. I need to move on. Oh, there's people in here though. So yeah, it's real comfy. And uh, tonight will be my first night sleeping on it, and I'm looking forward to that. There there was a time when a younger naive m me would be like, yeah, why spend money on something like that? Just just be uncomfortable. It's cheaper to just be uncomfortable. Is this somewhere I want to be? Let's let's check that map again because it's never super clear where things gonna transition. Because if we look at the previous one, the oh I guess that wasn't a door but a panel that I activated. But if you look at this one, I went down into that that south facing exit, and I came out kind of east-ish I guess. And then I went to that panel, and the panel's pointing up, but here it's. It's just a little confusing. Clearly not as confusing as I as I first thought. If it's actually still been pretty straightforward either way. There haven't been a lot of different options that I could have screwed up along the way. But uh, yeah, so my my butt is currently sitting on my bed while I'm streaming this and enjoying the cushiness of that memory foam all up in my cheeks and all up on my crack. It's good stuff. And I look forward to sleeping on this, even if it's going to be a bit weird. It might take some getting used to. I'm sure I'll sleep well, but it's going to take a bit of getting used to. All these, all these luxuries I would have never thought I never, I ever really wanted. Because like I said, I've always just been like, why, why pay for comforts? It's, it's whatever. It's temporary. It's, it doesn't matter. But now it's like, nah, that air purifier helps me sleep. So it's... It's worth, it's super worth it. Cause like I have way more energy, I'm way less irritable. I'm more aware, I'm not tired and exhausted all the time. You know, admittedly you have your tiring days at work and it catches up to you, but like, it's like normal person tiredness. It's not like, it's not part of my personality now. And that's nice. So if, if I had known the air purifier would make that much of a difference, I would have fucking bought it years ago. And uh, and hopefully this air mattress makes a similar distance. Distance. Difference. It's that vodka. It's already doing it to me. I'm not used to it. I'm only used to tequila. The undead. Why do they appear before me? What reason is there? How are they created? Do they start out as corpses? No, they can't. Some of them aren't shaped like anything I've ever seen alive. Which means they have been artificially created? Is that related to the baneful blood? If so, maybe Sis and I could control them too? So why don't they listen to us? And why does getting covered in their blood make me slip into that rampage? Does their blood contain some element that causes it? In the end, I simply have to keep on swinging my sword, unaware of any of the facts. Knowing that it may be futile, I still can do nothing but cut my way through undead. Chapter 4, Blood Overflowing. That fence seemed a lot closer for a moment. Maybe it was an optical illusion. But I think some things changed very quickly there. Let's turn this way now. Oh, that's a mud man. One, two, three. Jab! There we go. Look at that. First try. And I did it. It's the power of the Wii Motion Plus. Trademarked by Nintendo. One thing that, uh... One one Onichimbar related thing that happened recently is uh, actually the very the very same day. No, I was itching my. I had to scratch my back with the right hand, so I was not able to waggle that stick. Nope. One, two, three. Oh yeah, getting the hang of that. But uh, on the very same day that uh, the air mattress arrived. I also received a package, uh, an eBay order from Japan, and it was uh, the Onichimbara game on PS3. I had uh, previously mentioned my plans for potentially translating and, uh, and I guess, uh, mod or not modernized, what's the word? Whatever the case, I might just translate it and subtitle it myself. 
one, two, three. Jab. Using uh, just online translators. Yeah, this needs to be wiped. And just kind of doing my best. Like I said, I haven't played the game yet, so I don't even know. I don't know how big of a job that would be. You know, I don't. Aside from the couple channels. Like, isn't. I don't really watch content like the content I make. Like I, like I said, I, I really like Super Best Friends while they were still around, and I sometimes watch uh, their other con their other content, like their solo projects. Well, that's why it seemed closer, because it's it's sunk into the floor without without disappearing. Also, is that the whole stage? Jesus. Totally unrelated to my own desires, I continue to bathe in blood. My blade is already covered with gore from the undead. Like rain seeping into dry ground, I can feel their blood being absorbed into my body. This blood then reacts to my own baneful blood and drives me insane. The reaction of my blood is stronger than that of my sister. It's because we have different mothers. I've had this sword for as long as I can remember. Did my mom also use this sword? I don't have any memories from before I met my sister. Aya says that I don't have to remember. I'm fine as I am. What torments lie in my sealed past? And see, that's something I don't know. I think the player is expected to know because the first two games, or at least the first one, is about uh, Aya versus Saki before they were butteroos. Why don't we go punchies again? Let's go punchies for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's like, it's for, it's actually kind of like uh, my first, my very first experience. Oops. I forgot. I forgot how to do things. I guess that's fine, too. I was, I was expecting to do a kick. I forgot how that went. But, uh, anyways, because, um, when I first played Onechambara, it was Zed to Chaos, as you know, and uh, that one kind of had like Kagura and her sister as the main characters, and I and Saki felt like side characters. So when I started playing the old ones, and I was like, "Oh, I is the main character." Okay, I th I thought it was Kagura because she just seemed, you know, she was kind of the front runner. She was, she seemed a bit more main character ish. And uh, so I was super surprised to discover that Kagra is not here in the 361, and now in the Wii, not it's it's just like the first two <clears throat> that I haven't played is like Aya versus Saki, and then after that it's Aya and Saki versus Himiko, Reika, and Misery, and all that stuff, and learning about the Baneful Blood or whatever, and being a team, and being cool chicks together, and all that jazz. And, uh, <clears throat> so, I, like, I'm only pretty sure that, uh, when I play the original, it's gonna be weird seeing them versus each other, and the only reason I'm sure that that's how it went is because I think that's how the movies went. The very first movie, the Oni Chambara movie, that is, the live-action ones, that I, I guess are things that I just won't be including on my channel, because it's just a movie. I guess that was a, a recap of the first story, and uh, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I just haven't played the first two. My first experience was like the fourth one, fifth one if you count PSP, if that one even. Which, and I mean, it's it, what's even weird about that is like it's. I want to see Bar Z Two Chaos is the second Z game. So like e even if like even people that only played the games that were ported in English, even you'd be a little confused about why Kagura was in Z2 Chaos, because with this one uh, being uh, the one before Z, the Japanese one on PS3, that's uh, I I'm assuming that Kagura and her sister are introduced in the PS3 one, judging by the cover, of course. Oh, got some legs. And uh, so when when the first thing that happens in Z2 Chaos is there's a battle going on and all four girls are present, it's just like, 
Who the fuck is Kagura, though? Oh, she's just the main character now. Okay, that's fine. But uh, judging by the cover of the PS3 game, the Z game is its literally just called Z Kagura. I guess this is uh, her introduction to the story. That seems, seems a bit weird that they would port the sequel. Because, like, yeah, you know, for the most part I got it. I, I don't think there was too much I missed. But it's like... I, I don't know. I don't... I can't really think of a series that's... as, like, poorly handled as this. You know, feel feel free to leave leave a comment telling me, because this is an interesting thing, but, like... You know, I've, I've heard of, like, series being on different consoles. You know, like, the first one's on one console, the second one is on the next console. Which is another thing this series is doing. Like, it started on Sony, uh, PS2, and then it was on 360, and then it's on Wii, and then PS3. It, you know, it's a real mess. And I, I know that some series will do that. Bayonetta is one of them, too. Started on Sony and 360. And then became Nintendo exclusive after that. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to do some buggy ass jumps. Looked as buggy, but didn't feel as buggy that time because I saw it coming. But like it but what's extra weird about Oni Shambara's case is there like the first two didn't come out in the West. They were still in English, so by all means I could play them. I'm not going to, of course, because Onishin Bar Origin is coming. But then, uh, and then we got two and, or three and four on different consoles. Sure, that's fine. They're still English. Oh, I kicked the bird that time. Apparently my kicks are super high. And then, and then just one of them only in Japanese. And then the one that immediately follows that in English. Like, why, why would you port the second one? Like, why? Like, sure, forget the PSP one, that's fine, it's probably not important. But, like, the action game that's kind of a watered-down version of Z2 Chaos, like, we're just not gonna do that one? Like, you could've... <clears throat> I, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess maybe at the time when Zed Kagura came out, they were like, you know what? Onichambara isn't getting enough love right now. We don't think it's gonna make it, so forget about it. This looks like a goddess statue. Right, wash off my blood. And then maybe when Z2 Chaos came out, they were like, you know what? I think it, I think it's gonna do better on the PS4. I think there's an audience for this now. Let's go ahead and, and port it with complete disregard for the fact that it's halfway through a story that started on PS3. And uh, yeah, I just don't, I don't know why they would do that. You know what? I guess it comes down to money. They thought it would make the money. And yeah, I hope for the company's sake that it did. But it's like, it's just kind of, it's just weird that we didn't get that first one too. Really should have got that first one too. Like not even just like a, like you probably could have ported it to PS4 and translated it. Didn't, like I understand that it's not just going to be like, well, we got to do the PS3 one first, but the PS4 is out now, so why bother? Like, oh, you could probably make it run on the PS4 just fine. It seems to be like the uh, vaguely the same engine as the one on PS4. I mean, uh, the uh, Alice game on PS3 came with uh, came with the old Alice game on it, and that's that wasn't even on console. That was like a PC only game, like that. That had that probably required a, a decent amount of work to get running. <clears throat> so like, why not just uh, why not just localize the PS3 one as a PS4 port? Like that'd be okay. The uh, <clears throat> Digimon World Next Order did that, where they they took a PS Vita game, and instead of just porting it with its like shitty Vita graphics, they like changed everything and like updated the models, updated the world. So it looks like a PS4 game, and I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for just a lazy port. Oh, we're learning about the the blood mist zombie strategy. Uh, they will reward you with ring items that boost your status. However, they can only be hurt by cool combinations. Each blood mist zombie needs to be hit with a cool combination attacks to up to a certain stage in order to defeat it. 
And so yeah, that's that's where you attack at the right moment. Like I think it's just as the attack connects to do a cool combo. And it, it acts as a collectible. Well, I've been hacking at this guy for quite a while now. And I'm just gonna give up on that. Oh, I forgot that it makes you super bloody. I've lost most of my health as well. So I think I need to fix that. Alright, well I attacked that thing until my rank was V and I had like a shit ton of combo. And you know what? I didn't get anything, so I'm done with that. I did get some good practice on my cool combos though. It just uh, it wasn't really giving me anything out of it. So, whatever. But uh, because, because like I said, all that, all that griping about how Zed Kagra isn't coming. I'm just, I guess I'll just try to do it myself. Where do you get that? Grab. One, two, three. Grab. Oh yeah, I'm doing really well this time. But uh, yeah, so I was watching a, uh, some stuff on uh, Matt's channel from Super Best Friends. And uh, him and Liam were actually uh, talking about Onishiambara and uh, and how despite you know the one on PS3 and PS4 being pretty good, the uh, it was really disappointing how Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter wasn't very good. Oops, no. And I thought it was uh, I thought it was funny because it was actually. Uh, I mean, the video is out now, but at the time of me streaming it... Oh, there's so many mudmen here. I don't want to keep doing that. I'm just going to leave. But uh, I thought it was funny because at that time, I hadn't seen that episode of uh, whatever it was I heard it in. But I had made that comparison that it felt like a downgraded version. Like, it's, it's only a little bit better than these games. And nothing nowhere near as good as the PS3 ones. Also, that, uh, those goddess fragments don't really bring that down a whole lot. How far away, uh, seems like quite a ways to the next thing. Maybe I should use another one. Oh, well, no, I guess I got, f yeah. Oh, I have three now anyways. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't bring it back down all the way. But yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I liked Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter. I played it. That LP is on the channel right now. It's I'm confidently saying so because it is fully published before this stream. So if you're interested, by all means, check it out. It will be part of the, uh, the entire Oni Chambara story when I eventually put that list together. Even though it's not really related. But uh, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to playing the PS3 one after this. Maybe it'll be a fun and interesting project to uh, localize it myself. Speaking of games, I'd really like localize though. I think it was like a. Uh, it's like city. City shrouded by shadow or something. I I don't know the exact name of it now because I only I looked it up briefly. Apparently it came out in Japan a couple years ago, and uh, it's it's a disaster game. Kind of like the previous, I guess, Disaster Day of Crisis games. And I saw an LP of one of those, and it looked, it looked fine, if not great. It was a fun LP to watch, but uh, apparently I think I want to go up-ish. Up-ish or to the left, they're both the same. But, uh, you know, they're, they're disaster games. You do some platforming, you do some mini-games. There's collectibles and climbing around and saving people and shit, and that's that's all cool and whatever. Not not really my jam. But uh, this one is about uh, not surviving a city being tormented by earthquakes and weather. Let me just confirm that I'm where I want to be. Yeah, I've gone backwards. God damn it. Okay, now we're on the right track. So anyway, it's uh it's not just your regular old disaster game where it's just weather and shit. No get me wrong, those seemed fine enough. Oops, let's uh, turn around and lock onto something, huh? But uh, it's you're surviving in a city that is in the middle of kaiju battles. 
and not just generic anythings. It's like there's monsters from Godzilla, monsters from Evangelion, there's Ultraman in there. It looks really fucking cool. And like, I know, I know we live in a generation where region free is totally a thing. And like a lot of the games worth playing are definitely getting localized. And that's great. But like, dang. Just dang. It looks fucking cool. And I would love to play that. 